Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. This is a party prep and DIY with me for Layla's seventh birthday party. So when I asked her a few months ago what theme she wanted to go with for her indoor summer party, she told me she wanted a glitzy, glammy, Taylor Swift inspired party without the Taylor Swift but she still wanted all of the shimmer and the disco balls and the pretties and the pinks and the purples. So together we came up with this disco ball pink theme. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing if you are here for all things party. I do have a playlist down below in the description box of all of my parties that I've ever thrown for the kiddos and all of the inspiration you will find in those links. Um, I would love it if you stuck around to the end of the video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. If you are a returning subscriber, I always appreciate you. Let's jump right into the video. So you will notice first thing that I already have my balloon garland made. I already have tablecloths on the tables and I have some disco balls out. All of that fun stuff for this party is in my part one as this is part two. The part one of the pink disco theme party will be down below also in the description box. So in part two, I'm going to be assembling my huge friendship bracelet banner that was the biggest hit at the party. It was super cute. It's Taylor Swift inspired and themed and all of the kiddos, even the parents loved it and asked me how I made it. This was probably one of my easiest DIYs yet. So I went on Amazon, I got a large thread needle for less than two dollars i got some party balls like bounce house balls that i got on marketplace for a couple of bucks and i got some black stickers also on amazon and then some foam rounds that i've seen at hobby lobby for less than ten dollars but i got mine from amazon all of those pieces for this diy friendship bracelet banner will be linked down below in the description box I started threading all of the pieces together in the pattern that I wanted and it made the beautifulest balloon garland. All of the parents were in awe, the kiddos loved it, all the little girls were wanting to take pictures by it and it was a big hit. So since this is the night before the party, the biggest advice I can give you for throwing any type of small events and parties is getting the most stuff you can done before the party. So I started a couple days in advance. This is the night before the party and I'm going to wrap up all of her gifts that we got her. She turned seven and she got a pair of roller skates. She got a mini drone, a super cute karaoke machine. Look how cute this lavender purple karaoke machine is, you guys. And I am working on coffee at 11 o'clock at night. She got this super cute bum bag with the letter L on it, and all four of those items are from Amazon. So I am gonna work on wrapping up all of her gifts and setting everything up so she can see how cute everything looks and it's ready for her in the morning when she wakes up. If you're wondering where the super cute floral pattern gift bag and the checkered gift bags are, I get all of my gift bags from Home Goods, Ross, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls for anywhere from 79 cents to 1.99. Um, that to me is the biggest bang for your buck. You can use them time after time again, and they are great, great quality. I guess it never hit you. Our conversation takes to paying it some. Ever 
Another tip that I can give you guys is prep your cake and your cupcakes and anything else that you have that won't turn soggy or get um, rotten the night before or even a couple days before. Cover everything up with foil, Tupperware, or plastic wrap and stick it in your fridge or your freezer until the day of. Let it frost out and defrost and then your cupcakes and your cake should be perfect by the time guests arrive. Now, although I love to bake, when it comes to cakes and cupcakes, I am not a bake from scratch girl. However, I do in the future wanna get into that and make different recipes for cakes and cupcakes. But this time, since I am on a time crunch, I am doing the boxed cupcake mixes and they turned out so good. Um, Layla came with me to the store when we picked out the cupcake mix and she picked lemon cupcake cake mix and cherry frosting and they turned out delicious you guys if you guys need a new combination recipe or um, a recommendation for cupcakes try the lemon box cake mix and cherry frosting mix so so good guys let me know down in the comments who else's kitchen gets toe up from the flow up when they are throwing an event or hosting a party let me know because my kitchen gets torn up pretty much my whole house gets torn up when I am throwing a party there is wrappers and boxes and packaging everywhere there's streamers everywhere there's pieces of balloon everywhere and there's kids everywhere so luckily I'm doing this at 11 o'clock at night all the way until 1 in the morning when the kiddos are asleep so they would not be at my feet asking to help with everything so if you notice, I do have two cupcake pans that are well loved and I do have a backstory on them. I will tell you about them a little bit later in the video, but I'm getting ready to put these in the oven. I am baking per boxed instructions, which is normally 350 degrees for like 20 minutes or so, but definitely read your boxed instructions. So while I am waiting for the 20 minutes for the cupcakes to get done, I'm going to take advantage of that time and do something while I'm waiting. I am going to put together the party flavors. So I got everything from Walmart and from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is a great place to get super cute, unique gift bag treasures for super cheap, anywhere from 50 cents to $2.99. Really good, cute stuff. I got the paper shreds from Dollar Tree. I always have those on hand for Easter, birthdays, treat bags, anything, you name it, I will have paper shreds for. I stock up on them from the Dollar Tree. I got these iridescent holographic shimmery gift bags from Amazon. They are so cute. They were $10 for 50 of them. I will be able to reuse them and use them for all sorts of different parties and get togethers. And I also like to shop for um, gift bag supplies at Walmart. You can find supplies there and candy there anywhere from a dollar to a couple of dollars. You will notice when I am done stuffing all of the treat bags, I do put them in a really pretty and dainty gold wire basket that I had laying around the house that I've had for years. And when you're done with the gift bags, if you don't want them out on display on a table or something like that, you can definitely stick them in a basket and they look all the more pretty, especially for a little girl's party. Okay, so good morning because it's the next morning. It's the day of the party and it is time to rock and roll. So I am pouring myself some Stoke cold brew coffee, some Starbucks zero sugar creamer, and I am gonna get this party decorating and party going. It is seven in the morning and I am ready. I'm here for it and Layla's super excited to get her party going. Over the years of throwing so many parties and hosting events, another big tip of advice that I can give you is to make sure to prioritize yourself and get yourself ready early on in the morning. Layla's birthday party started at one. I got myself ready at 10 in the morning. If I was even smarter than that, I would have started getting ready at seven in the morning right when I woke up. But I don't know how many times I can tell you 
how many parties I've thrown where I looked like hot mess express because I had no time to get ready and by the time my guests were here I still wasn't ready and I just stayed not ready looking whooped up throughout the whole entire party so my advice get ready while you can the sooner the better get your kiddos ready get your husband ready or your partner your boyfriend get yourself ready before everyone comes again the sooner the better getting everyone ready for bigger parties and events, I definitely recommend getting your cutlery, silverware, and plates from the Dollar Tree because that's a really big bang for your buck. And they have all different colors of the rainbow. They have pastel colors, deep colors, dark colors, light colors, all the colors that you ever dreamed of. And you will also notice that I am taking the cake box, empty cake box that the lavender purple cake that I got from Walmart for $24 came in. And to elevate my cupcake stand, I am putting that underneath my sequin tablecloth. Look how much prettier and professional more that looks by elevating that cupcake stand. And here comes my little Maxwell stealing a little cupcake and I just let him do it because I didn't have time to take it away and discipline him. So I am getting ready to frost all the cupcakes with the cherry frosting that Layla picked out. Again, the combination of the yellow cake cupcake mix was super good with the cherry frosting mix. You guys, such a good combination and all the guests raved about it. I made so many cupcakes, more than what the party was expecting, but sometimes there are people who want two cupcakes and some kids will drop their cupcakes and need another cupcake. So better safe than sorry, always have extra for your guests. These cake pans are so old. They're from my Mexican grandma, I call her Ama. She gave them to me about 15 years ago, you guys, and they make the best cupcakes. So if you have any pans or pots or anything like that that you have a backstory on that someone gave you a long time ago, your grandparents or your mom or your dad, and you wanna keep them in your generations and your family, let me know down below in the comments. I found these cute little 12 count of disco balls at Hobby Lobby for $2.49 and they are like little ornaments, possibly for a tree or to hang on something. I decided to do a DIY, cut off the strings and then use them for cupcake toppers on the cupcakes and guys, the cupcakes turned out absolutely beautiful. They were so perfect and it was so easy to cut the strings off. So for 12 little disco balls for $2.49 from Hobby Lobby, these made the perfect cupcake toppers for our disco pink party. Broken heart, waiting for you to come out and save me. Had my mess, 
Oh, I am taking pretzel rods and candy melts, pink of course, for our disco themed pink party. And I'm gonna make another fun and yummy DIY party treat. I'm gonna make chocolate covered and sprinkled pretzel rods. This is a super easy DIY. You need some parchment paper or some wax paper. Um, it's not necessary that you have them, but you take your pretzel rods and you lay them out and then you heat up some chocolate wafers, any color that you're going with, the theme that you're going with, pick out those alternating colors or those um, colors that match perfect with your theme. Put them in the microwave with a little bit of oil, microwave them in 30 second increments, and then you have a perfect soft dip to dip your pretzels in. And you have to work quickly because these candy melts do harden. And while they're still wet, right after you dip them, sprinkle them with your choice of sprinkles. They will harden within a couple of minutes and they are so cute. They are one of the biggest hits at all of our parties. Look how cute these turned out. They look professional. People pay quite a bit of money for these, but in reality, they're super easy to make. You can use Oreos to dip the chocolates in. You can use um, other candies. You can use donuts. Literally, you can dip your chocolate melts and wafers in anything, sprinkle some sprinkles on them, and they look so cute after they harden, you guys. Big hit at parties. Over the years, I have invested in card tables and party tables for my endless amounts of parties that I throw. Um, they are definitely investments that um, I have made over the years, but I've known since I have so many children that I do throw parties for, I know that these are a good investment. So I like to find my tables either used on Marketplace or the best place that has the best price is Costco if you have a Costco membership or a Sam's Club. So I am in this living room going to be um, setting up for a create your crown station and it was a really big hit with the kids. I found these eight pack of crowns and beads at Hobby Lobby for $2.99 each. So I got two packages of them. So for less than $6, the kids had their own create your crown station and it was a really really big hit and then in the garage i found some sticky letters and stickers that the kids put on the crowns for some extra pizzazz to their crowns so now i'm getting ready for a paint station that i am going to host on the deck for the party this was also a big hit it was messy but if you have the patience definitely look into it i got the canvases 11 of them for ten dollars from walmart and this is another table that I invested in. This is a kitty table that I got from Costco. I'm just unfolding it and going to put it out on the balcony with a pretty tablecloth and lay out my canvases and all of our paints. I love to hang fringe all over the house in the entryways and walkways when I am hosting parties and all the guests love them and they make for the best decorations and they're super, super cheap. You can buy them at Walmart for $3 or you can get them in bulk packs on Amazon for like three or four packs for like $10. Super good bang for your buck and you can use them over and over again. My next 
treat that I'm making for Layla's seventh disco pink birthday party is going to be some popcorn with some chocolate candy melt and sprinkles. This was also a big hit and I laid out some cute little um, packages that I got from Hobby Lobby to carry your popcorn in and everyone loved them super cheap to make and super easy i had extra candy melts left over i just popped those back in the microwave while it was still wet i poured it over the popcorn mix and then i poured my sprinkles on and you have pink popcorn such a big hit you guys Another super cute Hobby Lobby find that I got for, I think, $1.99. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but for 12 of these disco ball pouches for drinks, I got them, I believe, for $1.99. At the most, $2.99, but I think for $1.99. Um, the kids loved these. You pre-fill them with whatever drink that you want, and then you stick your straw in, and the kids have a cute little drink, kind of like a Capri Sun, but they have different things on the packages at Hobby Lobby. Such a good bang for your buck and it makes the party super, super cute. So whether or not you live in an apartment or a huge house or a small house, a townhome or a condo, a duplex or whatever type of living situation you have, if you have a birthday party coming up, I hope you find the inspiration from my channel and my DIY party prep videos to throw the party, make some memories, make your kiddos happy, do it on a budget, like I always say, ball in on a budget and take advantage of all of these DIY projects that I'm showing you here. I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. If you are a returning subscriber, you know I always appreciate you. Happy birthday, sweet baby Layla, who's not a baby anymore, my seven-year-old big girl. Happy birthday, we love you so much. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights. Yeah. Sort out of the lies, oh baby, yeah. Oh, no. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the.